What is up, guys? We are back. NFC Non-Fungible Cast Episode 21. Guys, I'm here with my boy WT, uh, the absolute legend. This man is incredible in this space. He's got that beautiful mustache going on. I mention it every week. Uh, I'm telling you, one day he's going to fly off, man. He's just going to be like a butterfly and fly off. Uh, I want to say, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that tunes in, that that it really appreciates these podcasts, that loves them. We love doing it. We love chatting about stuff. Uh, we do talk about m- multiple games. To Today, we're actually taking a different approach. We are going to start talking about move to earn, okay? This is something that WT and I uh, truly, truly, truly believe in. We think this is uh, a very good step to getting healthy. Uh, I, myself, am trying to get healthy, uh, healthier. You know, I do have a wedding to go to in September, and this motivates me. This is motivating me to, you know, shed a few pounds, man. You know, COVID's been, you know, it's uh, I've been doing, you know, I've added a few pounds. So this is motivating myself, which is amazing. This is something I need to get out there and move and there's a few games we're going to talk about a few different apps we're going to talk about and uh, i'm telling you they've been incredible they've worked for me they've gotten me out there walking and uh it's motivated me to do that so i definitely want to break into that first things first let's talk to our boy wt what is up your beauty what is new talk to us man what's going on hey how you doing (laughs) it's been a few days since we've done a cast and yeah we've been talking about this quite a bit the nft industry and cryptocurrency industry they're touching everything and this is just another sector i think that it's just going to take over and we're really going to be seeing the real world applications of this stuff just coming together and that's why we want to start talking about it because we think it matters and yep staying busy gonna jump right into this man what do you think yeah for sure and this is like when people talk about the metaverse this is what i see it's like when the real world meets this stuff and you're getting rewarded for the real world stuff i love this so uh the first one i definitely want to there's a few we're going to talk about but the first one i want to talk about is dustland this this has been amazing i got to tell you right now uh i'm super i'm super into dustland i love it uh basically it's like an audio book in your ear it's telling you a story while you're walking it's making you walk you get rewards we're going to break that down in a minute uh but let's talk about the bad let's talk about them as a as a business first and we'll break down all the other stuff so it's dustland they're a docs team they're owned by all of x major ties to animoca brands this is huge animoca brands basically is like a stamp of approval if they have their name on anything you know it is the real deal uh animoca brands sandbox game a host of other major investors uh like i say anything that animoca brands sandbox those are real deal names they're not just going to attach themselves to anything <clears throat> the game is based off a former game called Zombie Run, which I have as well. Uh, we could break that down as well. It's a very similar concept. Uh, I can explain that as well. Uh, and it's a proof of workout game, which I love because, again, what it is, it's like a story that they tell in your ear. You're walking. You're listening to the story. Uh, you're earning items kind of as you're as you're going. You're completing these missions and stuff. And it really motivates you to move. And I love that. And, again, I use this every day since I've downloaded it. It's made me go out and go for a walk every single day and that just is proof right there in the pudding that this stuff works so wt what do you think of this yeah it's a apocalyptic apocalyptic style game like you said off the game zombie run that's the way you can think about it kind of reminded me of like borderlands if anybody's ever played that game it's very similar apocalyptic game maybe some mad max thrown in there but you know i've gotten out there as well you can either walk, you can run, you rack up items and completion tickets, and you can earn one completion ticket for every, for every 24 hours. Now this game is very early and getting the tokens right now, you can only get them on, you know, like your Uniswap, Pancake, Pancake Swap, and a few other exchanges out there. So for now, we're accumulating completion tickets once every 24 hours, and eventually, we're going to be able to redeem those for DOS tokens in the near future. There's only going to be 5 billion total DOS tokens. Now, it sounds like a lot, but it is a cap supply at least. And they want mass participation in, into this. So I'm sure that's why they have that many tokens out there. Um, in addition to that, the only thing that else that you could buy for it is the one NFT. It is called the Kettle Mine Poster. It's going for like four to five bucks it's not too expensive right now and you accumulate those on the polygon network i believe and you're holding them and using them as they roll out stuff one thing that you can use them for right now well not now that time period is over but you before this you could spend three of those posters so roughly 15 bucks and get uh like almost like a whitelist to this operation eight pass 
We don't have a ton of details about it yet, but it's going to be an ape mission with the combined style theme of Dustland. And from those missions, you're somehow some way going to be able to exchange your dose tokens for ape coin. And how that's going to work and look, we don't know exactly, but ape coin is trading for like eight bucks right now. And dose token is trading for like three cents now. So I'm very uh, intrigued about how that's going to look and what that conversion factor is going to look like. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, very, very, very good breakdown on it. Like I was saying, there's there's so much coming in. There's the poster you can buy, and, and there's so many things that, that are happening right now. Right now, there's three missions, I believe. I crushed all three uh, literally in in two days because I just I couldn't I couldn't wait. I, I finished one mission. I'm like, you know what? I could do another one. So I did two missions, uh, and I think it's about a half an hour ish, maybe twenty minutes, half an hour, twenty five minutes, something like that each. You walk around, you do your thing, and uh, and then then I saved the next one for the next day. So I was like, I want another one for the next day. But what you can do is you can like like uh like wt said you can get one of these things a day so you can redo these missions and stuff and uh there's so much fun like i say it's an audiobook i never thought about doing that so it makes the walk go so much faster because you're listening to this cool story in the background it's it's a like you said apocalyptic it's really cool uh the story keeps you engaged and you're and you kind of even forget you're walking you're just kind of walking minding your business and you're hearing this cool story in your ear next thing you know boom your 25 minutes is up and i'm like yo what just happened it's so fast so i love this concept i absolutely love this concept i'm so bullish on this i think it's a genius idea and like i said it works it worked on me this is what i needed to walk this is what i needed to get myself out there and it literally i look forward to this every every day so i wake up and i'm like i get the kids on the bus and i'm kind of just like yo get to school you know what i mean so i can get out there and walk around so i love it man i, I can't say enough about it um and, and dustland to me is phenomenal again animoca brand says says it all right there so uh yeah any final thoughts on dustland wt what do you think I really enjoyed the audio. You could tell it's professionally done. It's mm -hmm. not just some ragtag people coming in and just reading a script. Like you could tell they're engaged wherever they get these, I guess, audio actors from. They're the real deal. And I, I like it. It's a nice little finishing touch. Everything that they're doing seems to be the right steps. And they do, I'm pretty sure they do have land inside Sandbox game. And I could totally see them having some running event in Sandbox somehow some way tied to this app or something. Mm -hmm. And that alone is going to be insane. If you can somehow, some way run in place, who knows down the road with VR and everything coming, it could get nuts. It could get absolutely nuts. That the possibilities are endless. I'm in, totally excited to see where this goes. I totally agree. And like I said, we, like I said, Sandbox is involved with them as well. So, you know, they're going to do something. They're, they're, they're definitely connected. Yeah. Dustland uh, guys, it's a free app. It's called Dustland runner. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, like I say, I, it, it worked for me. I've been walking every single day. I'm feeling better. Uh, and, and I can't say enough good things about it. So that is uh, Dustland. The next one I want to bring up is aglet this is a new one we just kind of got into a bunch of us got into uh maybe what about a week week and a half ago uh very cool this one i like as well this one actually i really 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 like uh it is uh, another docs team location based app so it's like pokemon go if you ever played pokemon go you pull up your map you see yourself on the map you run around and stuff and it follows you so it uses your gps and stuff uh the game has been out for two years as a non-blockchain game they just released i guess their first nft a few days ago a couple days ago something like that uh which uh is brand new so it was a, it was a non-blockchain game turned blockchain game um which is pretty cool the company's located in la california uh several of their employees worked for traditional traditional footwear like adidas so they have experience they know how this stuff works they understand the shoe business which is great because there is all that stuff tied into it and we'll break that down as well we're just going to kind of give you the the business side of it and then we'll break down the game and kind of what it's like and their shoes and stuff involved uh, as well um they recently collabed with immutable x to bring nft sneakers to the platform if you guys know w T and I, we are so <laughs> bullish on Immutable X. This is like, we believe in Immutable X. You know, we talk about, you know, Gilded Guardians and other games. We truly, truly believe in Immutable X. That right there to me is like, all right, Egglet's the real deal. Uh, WT, talk to me. What do you think about all this? Yeah, I got to be honest. How I found out about Egglet was the IMX collab. When I seen that, I was like, what's this? And I started looking at it and I seen it was a move to earn game. And the more and more I dug on it, I have some serious, serious questions, and I hope I can get them answered someday. I think this is possibly a traditional game app 
or Pokemon style Go app, but with shoes and a legit company wanting to come into the NFT space. So you're taking an already finished product that was out in the mainstream, done very successful, and now they want to go to NFT and they found the IMX platform and IMX is going to make it easy for them to integrate into the blockchain space. And that makes me super bullish for IMX and then also checking out this product because I want to, I, I really want to see how this goes and get more involved into the, the infrastructure of how this works. So we can put some proof in the pudding of like IMX legit and this is what they're doing. Uh, Aglet just did a sale recently on May 14th. They did 500 sneakers and I knew when they said 500 in the AMA, I was like, that's going to go so fast. We, we know the space. You, you could have 10,000 sometimes these things and they go like Gone. in less than 30 seconds. Lo and behold, it was a one to two second sale. Uh, a lot of us participated in it. I actually got a purchase through, but I wasn't fast enough and they had to refund me my gold aglet. That's what we used to buy this. Mm -hmm. And it stinks, but they're going to do more here soon, possibly this week. And I think they're, they got a taste of this NFT space and they came out and said, look, we didn't know it would go that fast. <laughs> they knew it would go fast, but they didn't know it would go that fast. It was absolutely nuts. They, they, I think, I want to say they had like, I don't want to misquote it. I thought I'd seen something like almost 100,000 people trying to buy it or something. Like Maybe it's 10,000. Maybe I got my zeros wrong or something. But it, regardless, it was a lot. So the 500 went like that. And they got a lot of stuff coming on the roadmap. Quarter three, they're going to have like a, a treasure stash. I'm interested to see how this goes, where I think the way it goes is when you walk over these loot boxes, basically, they call them treasure stashes, apologies. You get a pop-up on your app and you can click it. And currently you can just get their regular... Shoes. You got to cop them is what they say. I guess that's the terms. So a, a coming in quarter three, I think it's going to be random and it'll probably be the low chance, but you can get like a random NFT. And eventually in quarter three also, they're going to be tradable, these NFTs for either uh, Ethereum or USDC on their in-house market platform. That's pretty bullish right there that they're already going to be having this coming in quarter three. And you're also going to have access to uh, exclusive Aglet merch drops. I know they got one coming up. I can't remember the date. They're doing like their own custom shoe. And there's only going to be so many of them. And I think it's going to be roughly 250 bucks for these shoes. And you know how the sneaker heads are yep. in this industry. Once you get on something with hot that with sneakers, those values go through the roof. I mean, I've seen thousands and thousands of dollars for sneakers. And it just blows my mind. And that's what they're into. They've got experience with Adidas and other companies. And then in quarter four, this is the one I'm really watching for. Their NFTs are going to be on Immutable X, OpenSea, Looks Rare, and possibly some other blockchain integrations. And it looks like from the roadmap, I don't know what this means. It's kind of vague. They're going to do a sneaker metaverse. And we know this space. Yep. You get, if you're doing stuff like this, it makes sense just to go into metaverse. It, it, your, your social platforms, your games, et cetera, it's just, it's just huge. And it looks like Agla is taking the right steps, in my opinion. What do you think? I agree. Uh, I, I do use this app as well. I absolutely love this app. And here's here's the beauty of these, okay? Uh, we just talked about Dustland Runner. We just talked about Aglet, okay? These are two separate apps. But the beauty is they are step counters. You can run them both at the same time. You don't even have to have them open. You just have them on your phone. They are step counters. So you can have all these apps running at the same time, collecting these steps for you. That's the beauty. You don't have to do you know, the walk 10 different times. You do it one time, it accumulates on all these apps. I do use Egglet as well. The the stashes, all that stuff, it's beautiful because around where my kid's school is, when I go to pick them up at the end of the day, there is a few spots and it makes me walk around. So again, here I am walking to all these different sneaker stashes, you know, around the, the area. It's about a 25, 30 minute walk. Well, there we go. And I'm going to walk there. It gets me moving. It gets me the stashes. And like you said, you get sneakers, you can get their coins in there, their, their Egglet coins. I think that's what they're called. Not the golden ones but the but the uh the other ones right. and uh again you're accumulating these steps and it's amazing and and you can see your daily steps and uh, absolutely love this one as well this was actually the first one that i downloaded and then once i i got fell in love with this one i was like i need to find more and that's what got me into the other one so yes i downloaded egglet first um 
I use it every day. I absolutely love it. So like I say, when we're doing the other ones, we're they're still counting steps on this. And uh, and I love how it has that Pokemon Go kind of feel. I was a Pokemon Go player when it came out years ago. And but instead of like going to like the the, the Pokestops where you spin them, you're going to these shoes uh, shoe stashes where you're open them and you can get shoes. You can get their coin. Uh, if you hit certain milestones like ten thousand steps, seventy five thousand steps overall, two hundred thousand steps, whatever it is, they reward you with shoes as well. Um, yeah, they did a five hundred um, NFT drop. I don't think they, yeah, like you said, I don't think they realized how fast they would go. Uh, instant, like instant gone. Uh, I believe, and I, I may misquote this too. I think they have either a million or a hundred thousand player base. I, there's, I, I could maybe I misplaced a zero as well. They have a lot of users. Okay, they have a lot of users uh, using this app, or at least downloaded the app, or whatever it is. So uh, there's a lot of people using this. Immutable X wants to come in, take them in, say, "Yo, we're gonna bring you in." The, and and Immutable X, the one thing about them that not the one thing, but one of their things is easy um, uh, sign up, easy registration, easy everything's easy. They make everything easy. For for you so it's p people like uh, that use agat that say they don't even know what nfts are they're not into nfts it's going to be an easy integration into it through immutable x because that's what they do they make it easy so uh I, I i love this one i'm super bullish on this one again uh you got to put the names there when we talked about dustland we said animoca brand sandbox we're talking about egglet i want to say immutable x Anything Immutable X touches is gold i believe in it i believe in immutable x anything they touch i believe in it absolutely yep WT is a yeah. huge believer too. Trust, trust. <laughs> it is. I, I am. Uh, yeah, there lots of positive signals with this company, Aglet. I'm interested to see where it goes. And, you know, like you said, you you, you go to the school. Oh, hey, there's a box over there. Well, I might as well walk over there and get it. It, it gets you out there and walking yeah. and running. And all these apps, the theme is, is getting out there and moving. And I'm from the U.S. Our country could definitely use that. We are... Uh, unfortunately very overweight i need to drop about 15 to 20 pounds myself I'm with you <laughs> and yeah i absolutely love this stuff what else we got yeah i love it like i said i got a wedding to go to in in september and i told him i, I was with the groom he's a good buddy of mine kev you guys know him and i said uh, i said listen next time you see me man i gotta i gotta shave this down a little bit i gotta look good in the tux man i can't show up like this i gotta you know i gotta i gotta represent so uh all right uh so that's egglet uh, again i guess i use this guys i use egglet i use dust runner uh, dustland runner i use both of those Every day since I've downloaded them, they get me out and moving. If you want to get moving, I highly recommend these. They will get you motivated. They motivate me 100%. Uh, okay, the next one I want to talk about is Steppin. Now, this is basically the Axie Infinity of the Move to Earn. This is the first one in. A uh, lot of hype around them. Tons of hype. Uh -huh. Um, you know, this is the OG of this space. Now there's going to be a higher buying point and stuff. We'll get to that in a little bit. I'm going to break down kind of the behind the scenes stuff, the business side of it. And we'll, and we'll get to that other stuff in a minute. So they are a docs team as well. Uh, major backers, Sequoia, S Sequoia capital, uh, Binance and a host of other investors. Uh, they were the first major NFT move to earn game out there, which we've talked about just now. Uh, hu they are huge, huge compared to the rest right now. If people think about move to earn, they're thinking about step in. That's the one everybody knows. But uh, that's what we're trying to do here. We want to let you know there are other ones out there that you can get. You don't have to just go to step in. I mean, there's nothing against them. It's great. But there are other ones uh, out there too if you're looking for a different price point as well. Um, okay. So uh, they have four styles of sneakers. They have walker, jogger, runner, and trainer. Uh, the trainer is the most versatile, very detailed system with the sneakers. Uh, there's a whole slew of things in there to learn. Um, uh, where am I out here? So they're very uh, detailed with the sneakers, energy systems, uh, stats in the sneakers, efficiency, uh, luck, comfort, resilience. Uh, there's an in-game burn mechanic uh, with the repair of the sneaker. You repair the sneakers as they're worn down, uh, and you need GST to repair. So GST, so like I mentioned earlier, this is basically the Axie Infinity of the move to earn. Uh, the GST is like the smooth love potion if you're familiar with uh, uh, Axie Infinity um, kind of thing. So uh, you do need to repair the shoes as they as they break down and stuff like that. Uh, WT, what do you have for us on this? Break it down for us. Uh, personally, I don't have any experience with step in but let us know what, what do you know about this me either i don't have any experience with the step in yet i don't know if i'm going to get into it the entry point is pretty high right now the i just checked the floor before we did this 17 soul to get in and soul prices are down right now but i think at one point they were like 1200 to 1500 dollars for your, your floor sneakers to get in they are down a little bit right now as are the tokens as well and the tokens are GST, like uh, Bruno, Bruno said that 
It's kind of like the SLP from Axie Infinity. That's their in-game utility token, basically. It has an unlimited supply, which kind of scares me because we've seen what's happened with Axie Infinity. But they do have an in-game burn, uh, in burn mechanic, which is nice. And you got to repair those sneakers or you're not going to earn anything. So they do have that going for them. GMT is their second coin. And from my understanding, when you get your shoes up to level 30, you can start uh, earning GMT instead of GST. And I'm a little confused on this because I've been checking the price points on this. GMT is half the value of GST and usually it's the other way around. And I was like, what, how does that work? So roughly GST is training for like a little bit over three bucks right now. And GMT is a little above a buck 50. They are down about half, maybe a little over half of their all time high from like, I don't know, week and a half ago. The whole market is down right now too. So that is part of it, but what they were at and what they're at now, it's a little over half. So that's a little alarming, but they have a very smooth app very clean UI, and it looks like they got everything in order. It's just how are they gonna manage this economy is my biggest question because they got a huge influx of players, huge influx, and they're there probably to earn more than to promote the ecosystem. And that is a problem we've seen in this entire metaverse NFT world that we're doing is how do they manage these economies? I absolutely love everything about this, Unfortunately, I was not early on this and I'm not big fan on chasing things. I'm definitely going to watch this because there might be a price point where it dips down where I might jump in so that I can try it out and talk a little bit better about it. I agree. I think the price point for this one's a little high, especially now we just talked about, uh, you know, Dustland Runner and, and Egglet, which are, you know, free to play. You can just jump in, start, you know, getting your steps in and, and stuff like that. So it's hard to justify spending, you know, 17 soul on on uh, to get in on app, but it, I mean, the earnings probably a lot better. We, I don't know enough to, uh, to talk about it, but I know people have been making money on it. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. I've seen you know people mm -hmm. been telling me, listen, I made you know fifty bucks today or whatever it is. Uh, so the earning potential is there. The hype is also there right now, and like you said, the concerns for me is is the is the is the liquidity pool and just the unlimited stuff. And it's just there are a few concerns, uh, but you know maybe they have a a, a way to to they they know what they want to do with it. You know we don't understand what they're doing. Maybe they know what they're doing. Uh, more than off, uh, uh, obviously than we do. So uh, yeah, that is step. And I wish I could talk more about it. I just don't understand. Like I don't have, I, I haven't used it. I, uh, so I don't have any experience. Uh, whereas with the other ones I do, and I can tell you, listen, if step the one that's going to get you out there, moving and, and, and earning, then do it. Whatever one it takes to get you moving, do it. Your health is your number one priority. Uh, and I love the fact that now, you know, move to earn is a thing. Crypto is coming into the world saying, hey, listen, uh, we want to motivate you to get out there and move and get healthier. Uh, I love that. I absolutely love that. Like I said, it worked for me. I, I love like stats and like, you know, cool little apps like this. And and the audio in Dustland, that did it for me. The the shoe stashes in Aglet, that did it for me. Uh, and I love that. So I need I needed something like this to motivate me to get out of my house, walk around, do my thing. And I found two apps right there. Maybe step in will be the third one. Like you said, if the price point uh, comes down a little bit, uh, I just can't justify for me personally, I can't justify 17 soul to get in. But if it dips a little bit more, uh, maybe I'll jump into that as well. And again, like I say, guys, these apps all work, even though they're not together, they're step counters. So they're they're just measuring how far you go or whatever it is, how many steps you've taken. So you can download all of them. You don't need to be like, I only want to work on this one. You can literally download all of them and progress on all of them at the same time. Time, we're doing the exact same amount of work. You're not doing extra work. So uh, I'm super bullish on this. Like I say, I need to drop a few pounds. This is what's doing it for me. I'm getting out. I'm walking. I'm listening to these cool stories on the way. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about these. And I'm, I'm always looking for more. I know there's a few more out there uh, that we will be talking about. We do have one coming on tomorrow. We're going to be doing a podcast tomorrow mm. with walkies, uh, which is another one. It's like uh, basically like uh, you battle, you walk around, you battle. It's like a Pokemon type style thing. Uh, we'll be talking to them tomorrow. Uh, there's other ones like Geno. There's tons out there, guys. Uh, yep. Find the one that works for you. you. You know, that's all I got to say is you find the one that motivates you. If you like more like the Pokemon battles, look at uh, Walkies. We'll be talking tomorrow or Geno Pets or whatever it is. If you like the stories, Dustland, that's the one. Get them all. It doesn't matter. Uh, WT, what do you think? I think we're in the early stages 
of just seeing the true potential of all this NFT and gaming space and everything tie into other industries. And uh, I, one thing I noticed, like with Steppen and Dustland, they have some major backers and Steppen has Sequoia Capital. That's nothing to sneeze at. They are a huge investment firm. I've learned about them from several other NFT projects that they have invested in or technologies like Starkware, which just so happens to be the magic behind IMX. These companies are huge and they're getting into this space and that sends some really bullish signals to me. And in addition to that, I don't I don't know this for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if these apps are eventually targeting health insurance companies. And why I say that is, I'm involved in a, in a program where they call it Healthy Rewards and they want me to do things and check these boxes off to promote healthy lifestyles because health insurance companies, when it comes down to it, they want us to be healthier so that they can reduce us going to the doctor and save them money. I know it's crazy, but health insurance companies want to make money. I know nuts, right? But the, the program that they have me in, it's very easy to fake. It's very easy to just check the boxes and not do what they're asking me to do. And they give me money. They're just kind of doing it to hopefully get me to do it. Will I do it or not? That's up to me and other people in the program. But this stuff with the geo tracking and the, the step counting, it actually puts some teeth to it. And I can totally envision a health insurance company looking like, oh, wait a minute, look at this. We can track what our uh, customers are doing and if they're following through on the things that they want them to do. And if I'm one of these app companies, I'm getting my stuff polished, ready to go. And I'm venturing out to talk to these health insurance company. And hopefully that influx of potential cash, revenue, whatever you want to call it to these companies, bolsters them to go to long-term and make these products really good. Yeah, that almost reminds me, like what you're talking about, almost reminds me of like, uh, I think they have car insurances that do that now. You have you have your, uh, your app up while you're driving yep. or something and your insurance will go up or down depending on how you're driving. If you're an aggressive driver or whatever, you know, things like that. So I, I think that, you're, I completely agree with that. I think you're absolutely right. This is the future of everything, man. The, the proof is right there. Uh, you know, what you're actually doing. Are you active? Are you not? It's your insurance, uh, your health insurance, all that stuff. It's, it's literally checking the boxes for you as you do it in real time. Uh, I think that's 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 golden. I think that's a very 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 uh, very possible thing, and I think that's definitely coming in the future for sure. And these apps are the first step to that, where you're just getting out, you're mm -hmm. walking, and like I say, guys, I know the I know people, and and I'm, I get excited too about it, the play to earn side of it, or move to earn the crypto side. But the most valuable thing is not your coin. It's your health. If you have no health, it doesn't matter how many coins you have. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You need to stay healthy. And 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 my, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm putting myself in that box where I've let myself go as well. So I need to get healthier myself. And, uh, you know, I'm holding myself accountable for it. So these apps are helping me. It could definitely help you. I, even if it's one person that watches this video today and says, you know what? I'm going to download this app and I'm going to change my life. That is worth it. That right there is worth it. And I hope to hear a story about that even a week, two, three weeks, three, four weeks down the road, a month down the road, three months down the road, whatever it is, where someone comes back and says, hey, listen, man, I watched this video. I downloaded these apps. I've dropped 10 pounds, 20 pounds, five pounds, three pounds, whatever it is, whatever it is. I hope that we at least get one story like that. That'd be absolutely incredible. So yeah, move to earn guys to me is the future. It's healthy. That's the more valuable part than the coins. But again, of course, there's the coins, and that's important for a lot of investors as well. WT, yep. uh, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Let's gain some coins and lose some weight. You know? Yeah. I like <laughs> that. I like that. Let's gain some coins and lose some weight. I like that, man. I like that. Hopefully, it's not the other way around, right? Hopefully, <laughs> you know, hopefully yeah. not, you know? Let's gain some yeah. weight and lose some coins. Let's hope not, man. You're doing it wrong if it goes the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, anything you want to say on the way out? I think we covered everything. Uh, like I said, tomorrow we're going to be talking to walkies. We're supposed to be talking to walkies. It's another uh, walk to earn, move to earn kind of app. Uh, that's supposed to be in the schedule. Like I said, there's other ones like Geno Pets and, and many more. Look them up, guys, and uh, do yourself that favor. Uh, WT, anything you want to say on the way out? Yeah, man. Just uh, we're going to be looking for more of these uh, NFT projects that are actually industry related and try to get ahead of them and get them out there for you guys so that we can get ahead of the game or get in the game early. And so we can benefit the most out of it. And don't forget to uh, put some comments below. It helps us out. Hit that like button first, please. And I can't wait for talking to walkies tomorrow, man. 
Yes. Yeah, guys, like WT said, uh, we're trying to get our brand out there. Uh, we love talking. We love talking, uh, you know, crypto and NFTs and all the projects and stuff. And I know we got an amazing group of supporters. You guys have been absolutely incredible. Don't forget to click the like, leave a comment. It really helps us get these videos out there. And and like I say, uh, you know, we have a great podcast here. We, we like to get people to hear them, you know. So uh, we appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, we are out of here. Get moving, guys. Download these apps. Get walking. Get in shape earn those coins, uh, you know, we will be. All right, guys, we are out of here. We love you, beauties. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.